welcome back once again. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, since we've paid Lawson a visit. So we're going to check in on him, see if he can save Strangerville. I don't remember where we left off, so let's find out. Hey, there he is. All right, he's asleep. Wakey, wakey. He's still a teenager, right? Let's see. Oh, he's a young adult. All right, apparently we aged up last time. That's cool. Come check out Thrifty. We just got some new exclusive items here at our thrift store, maybe. All right, sleepyhead, get up. You got work to do. If I remember correctly, this guy needs ingredients to cook. Oh, he has a cake. Oh, it's spoiled. Should we eat spoiled cake for breakfast? <laughs> Yum. Okay, so they have not fixed these yet, so we got to turn them off again. He's not feeling so great. I guess spoiled cake is not the best breakfast. Can we get him to throw up? Oh, we will in a minute. Yep, he's nauseated. Diego Matthews. What's up, dude? More money and prestige, but more work and responsibility. Should I try to get a promotion? Yes, you should totally go for it. Thanks. I was nervous, but now I'm excited. All right, good luck, Diego. You can do it. Oh, word on the street is that you've been getting in fights. You better clean up your act or you'll wind up with a terrible reputation. Bryant, who are you to judge? No, literally, who are you? I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, okay, we got some mail. What do we get? Bills. Nah. All right, let's pay your bills and then... What do we have to do next? Assemble the hazmat suit and traverse to the deepest part of the secret lab. Okay, so I, if I'm remembering correctly, the hazmat suit costs a thousand simoleons. And we've got 719. So we got to earn some simoleons. Now, I was being pretty strict with how he earns simoleons. So this might take some time. So I did say that he could use, what's it called? Plopsy, I think. So what can we sell on Plopsy? We can sell photographs, paint paintings, like I think things that they knit. Should we get them into knitting? Hey, I heard you and Diego Matthews are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. Thank you, Yuma. Uh -huh. I don't know what he just pulled out of the mailbox. Why is there another cake? Where did all these cakes come from? At least this one isn't spoiled. <laughs> Put that in the fridge. Okay, here's his diploma. That must be what came in the mail. Where do we want to hang your diploma? Here above the TV. Aw, congrats, Lawson. Okay, beginner's yarn basket's only 55. What is this cheap easel? I think I'm going to go with easel because the paintings will just be more money more quickly. Let's just go for it. All right, painting. Lawson, I don't think you ever wanted to become an artist, but you're doing it out of necessity. <laughs> what is that? Big melon and some apples. Lawson is relishing every brush stroke. Should he let the colors flow and embrace that he likes painting? Yes. List on Plopsy. It'd be faster to just sell to collector, but I set these rules for myself, so I'm going to stick with them. Oh, he's hungry again. Let him eat cake. Oops, I left it out. Okay, gonna take a piece and then put it away. Whole cake all to himself. Hello, Miss Jess Sigworth. Let's do another. What do we got this time? A llama? I bet that's a llama. All right, listing it on Plopsy. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? Gonna brag a little and say that things I drew when I was three looked like this, so. All right, list it on Plopsy. Hey, 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 get back here. Ooh, what do you catch if you use this for bait? <gasps> I don't know. Oh, this will be so fun if you get some kind of mutant. Oh, no, just a bass. Hey, Ted. How's it going? Not very good by the looks of it. <laughs> ah, catch one more fish. Get back to painting. That wasn't a fish. A um, minnow. Okay. Oh, wait. He caught a second bass. I totally missed that. He's still inspired, so let's just... Ooh, paint from reference. Yeah. Let's do a medium painting from reference. Never mind. He just started one himself. I think after this one, we better pack up his easel or he's going to spend all of his money. He's already down to 54 simoleons. All right. So go lift this on Plopsy and just put this in your inventory for now because I don't want you spending your last $49. <laughs> All right. So he's hungry again. Thank goodness we caught some fish. He's got a steady diet of fish and cake. Sounds good to me. Oh, he was about to go for cake. You already had two pieces of cake today. <laughs> Get some protein in you. Rush up. All right, now all we can do is wait and hope that some of these paintings sell on Plopsy. Fingers crossed. Why are you so energized? It's midnight. <laughs> Stay up reading by candlelight. All right, so we wait for the paintings to sell, and then we can also keep collecting things to sell at the flea market and at Finchwick Fair. He's still... Is he not losing energy is he just gonna stay up all night <laughs> i mean sometimes i stay up all night reading all right let's just send him to bed regardless 
Diego just became good friends with Lawson. I was probably on Social Bunny. Today, your follow account changed by 60. Whoa, he has 284 followers. I'm so jealous, Lawson. Oh, who's this person? Why do they have negative friendship? No idea. Send them a nice message. Send them a second nice message. There we go. Now it's neutral. So he's only got 49 simoleons. Let's start stocking up on fish. It's a good way to use up this garbage. Oh, the geek con is in town. Um, I mean, yeah, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Let me put my fish in the fridge. Wait, Diego, don't hang up. No, Diego. Oh, I can't believe it. They gave me the promotion. Oh, congrats, Diego. We're so proud of you. Lawson has learned that Diego is a warrant officer at Strangerville National Base. I think we'll take him to GeekCon. I don't think he'll win any prizes, but can't win if you don't try. Oh, right. <laughs> Merrick. Ah, Neebs. Neebs. <laughs> Clear those out. I need a quick shower, too. Here we go. I'm feeling kind of lucky, and GeekCon is on. You want to try and win the festival contest with me? Yes. Let's do it. Go into GeekCon. Gonna win some prizes for nerds. Oh, yeah. It's GeekCon. People are in costumes. The GeekCon challenges have begun. Head to the computers to test your programming skills in Hackathon or use the motion gaming rig to test your gaming skills in UGT. Um, does he have either of those skills? Neither. <laughs> well, <laughs> good luck, Lawson. Also, it's raining. How is any of the equipment going to work? It's probably all broken. Well, GeekCon is basically ruined if everything is broken. Well... Okay, it might be clearing up. Do we have to fix the computers ourselves? Well, he's hungry. Let's go get him some lunch. Hey, hey, get in there and run the sand. We need some lunch. What are you doing? Come on, Mara. There's a line. Go. Get in there. Get in there. Aha. Oh, this is just a t-shirt. No, I want food. Is there another food stand? God, Geek Kong sucks. Everything is broken. Well, these aren't broken. All right, maybe we'll do this. Still want to get some food first. Can I run the dang stand myself? I mean, Lawson's just hanging out at the bar. So, okay, he's only got 49 simoleons, so let's just get him some free chips. We might as well try this one competition. Oh, let's do it, let's do it. Ultimate gaming test. Come on, Lawson. Oh, somebody else went in. Oh, grab this one. Womberg. Ah, huh? Well, he failed the ultimate gaming test. The minimum total score it to pass is 70, and he got 30. Whoops. Well, no prize money for that. Ooh, who'd you find? <laughs> Llama superhero. Oh, he already knows Jana. Hi, Jana. Bye. Still talking to you. <laughs> Jana Palma thinks Lawson Pyle is swell and wants to become best friends. She's oh, always baby. wanted to be best friends with a green llama. The festival will end in one hour. That was a short day. Came in, everything was broken from the rain. Now it's over. But at least he made a best friend who happens to be a llama. Say hi to Bjorn here. Got a pretty badass Grim Reaper costume. Celebrity! What is Judith Ward doing at GeekCon? Look at that face. Oh, it's happy hour at the karaoke bar. Karaoke. All right, how do we... Oh, everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. Yeah, well, I hope they're really discounted. <laughs> I got no money. Let's sing a duet. Country song with... Well, Jana. Let's do it. Come on, Jana. Where is she? I don't actually... Is she still here? Jana. Jana the llama. Where are you? Dude, what are you doing? Go here. Ask Jana to sing country with you. Hey Jana. Hey Jana. Hey Jana. Hey Jana. 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 Hey Jana. Hey Jana. Hey Jana. I don't think he has any singing skill. Bob Sheebies don't for growl. Kill bad quabu. If son of swoop blood blow bloody jow. Nuba kill the blur boo. Grand oops, blah blars. Eha. Name fleet bulls arcs. May they put the noise. Grand oops, blars. It's Nuba boy. And then it just ended abruptly. <laughs> Is there a contest going on? Oh, there's a doggy. He wants to karaoke. Cinnamon. Oh, little cinnamon.
Cinnamon wants to sing. I've called to inform you that your great great grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept under what conditions? Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was that there would be no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Wait, right? Yes. Okay. This is fantastic. Well, now he has money to eat, so let's grab something to eat first. And then we can go buy that hazmat suit. Fish and chips, baby. I can afford the most expensive thing on the menu. I, I don't know if that was the most expensive thing. Oh. Show off. Is that thunder? Oh, it was. Let's enter the contest. Sing a karaoke contest. Shake it, not stirred. Good luck, Lawson. I'm rooting for you. Oh, nice little spin. Snibara it's like he can't sing, but he's selling it. That's how you karaoke. Oh, this person likes it. <laughs> Look at him. Zebulo! <laughs> oh, at the end. All right, well, I'm rooting for you. Oh, he scored 45 out of 100. If no light all right, good. He sucks too. Rifter whistle, owls are glove. Wolf of that triangle weave. Wars of pins out. Oh, he got good reputation. Who cares what Lawson's doing? I'm gonna watch this guy. She should be Herbadu do Xerxes. Large hoots of flames, what's the wheeze wops one? What do she say? Sims, Malarney, Jackie Pitch, the new weasel. So that's how he was supposed to sing that part. The results are in, and Miko Ojo won the contest with a score of 75. Better luck next time. Of course, she went last, and just right as the contest was ending, and she won. She deserved it. Wow! Lawson's just been chatting everybody up this whole time. He had a lot of friends. Well, he's tired. It's getting late. We have enough money now to buy the hazmat suit, so we can finally continue on saving Strangerville. Oh, let's go use the fancy toilet. These things like talk and have bidets and huh, music. Wait, it's projecting something in front of his eyeballs? Dang. You're going home. He had a great night, great day. Got money, had fun, lost a karaoke contest. Back to your trailer we go. All right, social bunny. Oh. Who all do we want to add? Well, there's a lot of people. Jarvis, Florida man, Lila, Kylie. She was the bully from high school. Angie, Tining, Wilder, Bjorn. I think they can have a max of 30 friends. Thomas, save room for some other people. I'm so excited for the morning. We can keep going. Good morning. Let's eat some cake for breakfast. Oh boy, Knox for Thrills would like to purchase large painting on Plopsy. If you agree to the sale, then find the large painting in the inventory and ship it to send off to its new forever home. All right. I mean, now he has a bunch of money, but hey, people want to buy his art. $4.99. Uh, let's just give him a quick wash up, wash hands, brush teeth, and then go buy that hazmat suit. I think he needs another part to go with the hazmat suit. Find a hazmat suit and a spore filter. Does he have the spore filter? Let's just go buy the suit first. We'll worry about the spore filter next. Hey, what's the deal with those spores? Can you help me out? Question about spores and lead. I have them on short lifespan, so it doesn't have much time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Can we buy it now? Secret inventory? Yes! Woo! 
Enjoy your brand new incomplete hazmat suit. I told you it was missing a crucial component. You might want to question scientists about spores. They might be able to provide some kind of spore filter. All right, so, so we gotta go talk to scientists. Hey, there's one right now. Hey lady, hey lady. Infection profile data be discovered on the chemical analyzer at the secret lab. So we go to this and we construct infection profile data and then we talk to a scientist. So now I'll just bring Lacey to my house. <laughs> You're coming with me, Lacey. So what do you think about this spore thing? Blood. Clearly I know what I'm talking about, the spore thing. Oh, wow, you did it. Let me analyze this infection profile data and I will send you a spore filter in the mail soon. <laughs> Keep digging and you might find a vaccine for this infection so after man. all. Thank you, Lacey. <laughs> all right, so it's going to show up in the mail. Once that shows up, I can combine it with the hazmat suit, and then we can go into the depths of the secret lab. Oh, Lawson, I ran some tests. You've been standing here. Well, you just did that while you were standing here talking to me? I ran some tests on that infection profile data. I constructed a spore filter that will attach to any hazmat suit. Keep an eye on your mailbox for a special delivery. Okay, so I guess that probably won't show up till tomorrow. More cake. I mean, he already has a belly, so just double down. <laughs> what are you doing with that book there, Lacey? You going to read it or are you just going to open and close it over and over again? Lacey, 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 you're being a little weird. Are you on something? She's definitely stoned out of her mind right now, right? <laughs> Put those eyes. <laughs> oh, fake lashes. <laughs> Lazy, you're creeping me out. Jeebus. Is he like into her a little bit? Ah! <laughs> they seem to be hitting it off. I think she embarrassed herself. Let's uh let's see what her traits are, maybe. He doesn't have a girlfriend already, does he? I actually don't remember. Not even a love interest. Oh, someone's at the door. Diego! Oh, he got me a gift. How sweet. Alright, shut up, Lazy. You don't have a present for me. Oh, wait, Six she made me one? a scanner. <laughs> I mean, a filter. Sorry, Lacey, I apologize. All right, you know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out for a bit? How has your day been? Starter fruits? Oh, that's great. Thank you. Okay, where do we want to plant our fruits? What did we get? What did we get? Just grapes. Well, that's fine. All right, so we'll plant one and click on it. Plant the grape. All right, so what's next? Um, Okay, we got to wait for that filter to come in. Diego Matthews sings Lost and Pile as well and wants to become best friends. Maybe I should introduce these two. Let's see. Let's um do other sims. Talk up another sim. Talk up my friend Diego here. Uh, Where is he? he should be my best friend. There he is. Let's just stand in a pond and introduce ourselves. Normal thing to do. Hey, Lawson, I've already made up my mind about Diego. Every time we're together, we continue to despise each other a little more. What? Uh, uh, my two friends hate each other. Oh, it's a shame. All right, Jana, she's like, you're not my best friend anymore. What happened? Quick question. Mele ka nanoi. And I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? I think you should go for it. Can't pronounce her name, but she's a great person. All righty. No, no, no. Clear out the vines. All right. Are we producing? No what are you doing, Diego? That is for my future children. Do we have enough energy to watch a movie? Yeah. Watch a movie. With Why do we not have power? Something is going on and I don't know what. There should be power. So annoying. It's like fridge got turned back on. There's no option to turn it back off because it should be an off the grid fridge. I don't get it. Dumb. Why are all of your books? Are you just like going around with 30 pounds of books in your pocket? Oh, hey, he heard me. <laughs> Can we set off these fireworks? Let's do it. Come on, Diego. Gonna light some fireworks. Hey, it worked. Woo! Ooh, ah. Hey, that's pretty good. It burnt both of them. Oh, wait, do they like all go off? Can I, can I just like light them in a chain? Put them all like next to each other? Which one should I light? This one. Come light a firework. All right, I hope this works. And then stand back. Whoa, they do. Oh, sweet. I never knew that. That is cool. Wow. Oh, I don't think this one lit. That's so fun. I didn't know. That makes me huh. unreasonably happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so normally I don't let them sell stuff out of the inventory. I don't think there's any other way to sell these like old school projects. All right. And now we use the money cheat. There. Now it's at least out of his inventory. 
Oh, Diego left. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, buddy. Oh, he's my best friend. He he won't mind. Let's catch a fish. Gather water. Fish with bait. Hello there, Joff Augustine. Nice purple shoes. Let's get these fish in the fridge. So hopefully tomorrow in his mail, he'll get the spore filter. Then he can finally go down into the big, scary secret lab basement if everything goes well. Let's actually cook him some dinner. Fish, of course. Yummy, yummy. Holino Enchimus. Fish, bathroom, bedtime. Good morning, Lawson. What time does the mail get here? Hurry up. Let's go gather water. The mail! The mail's here. Thank you, mailman. Help me save the neighborhood. Did he get it? Did he get it? Did he get it? Yes! All right, combine with the hazmat suit. Woohoo! Okay, we're doing it. The secret lab. Yep, yep, get that suit on. No, my goodness. Whoa. The final door. Huh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so here we have it. Here's what's been in the secret lab. The friggin' mother plant. Let's attempt to communicate. No, let's not taunt it right off the bat. Please don't kill me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh. Really? It's just salivating all over him. Calm down. Oh. Can you just like communicate with it until it like chills out? Oh, Rita Coombs thinks Lost and Pile is swell and wants to become best friends, but you're a ghost. But like, if I say no, she'll be pissed. Do I really want to have an angry ghost? Yes, I do. Oh, she didn't really get that angry, but the friendship went way down. Sorry, Rita. I like my friends to be alive. All right, so what's next here? Vaccinate three sims, recruit three sims to help stop the source of infection, and defeat the source of the infection. Okay, well right now he's hungry. I believe this place had a kitchen. There it is. Okay, yeah, a fridge and a microwave. Just making a salad in my hazmat suit. Don't care if all these spores get in my salad. <laughs> as long as they don't touch me. What's his cooking level? Six? That's pretty good. Go Lawson. What was that noise? Oh, sh is it Rita? <gasps> She's so sad. Oh my god, is it because I wouldn't be your best friend? Oh no, Rita. Oh no. Things are getting worse. Make a microwave burrito. <laughs> oh, she's too sad to eat. Poor Rita. I'm just gonna go sleep forever. All right, so I think to make these uh, experimental vaccines, I will need to collect more spores. Spores and the little fruits. How are you peeing through that hazmat suit? You just peeing in the hazmat suit? There is a very important question I have to ask you. Ready? So, is water wet? I'm not sure. Well, now I've got anxiety about answering. I'm gonna say yes. Exactly! I saw it on Simspedia. That's what it said. Okay. Alright, so is that three fruits and 15 sp spores? Yeah, okay. So that should be enough to make three experimental vaccines. Cue that up. Didn't take that much time. Oh my god, this guy's a genius. Could be curing all sorts of stuff. Okay, so now I have to test vaccine on three sim, recruit them to stop the source of the infection. That's our plan for when he wakes up tomorrow. But for now, he's gonna go home and get some sleep. Stop the infection. You've discovered the source of the infection plaguing Strangerville, an enormous mother buried in the base of the lab. The only way to get the town back to normal is to defeat the vile creature. Find a cure for the infection and assemble a team to destroy the mother plant. Alrighty. Take this off for now. Maybe not sleep in your husband's <laughs> How do I take it off? There we go. Uh, send him to bed. Good morning, Lawson. So he has some grapes. I think I'm gonna make a batch of fruit salad. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're about to fix that problem today. Let's get you some breakfast. Hello, fruit salad. Let's make a whole party size because we only have eight pieces of grape. Pieces of grapes. Eight grapes? Eight bunches of grapes? I think they come in bunches. Eight pieces of grapes for breakfast. Why'd you stop? Keep mixing. Stir, baby. Yum. Looks dang good. Let's eat. Let's get a shower. And then let's save the town. Okay. So his job for today is to vaccinate three sim. So we got to go find these zombie guys. Oh, hi, Mark. You were infected a second ago. Now that I get here, you're not infected. Okay. Here we go. Please let me. What? <laughs> this guy's just doing yoga. <laughs> oh. Right in the face. Sorry. Did it work? 
The vaccine seemed to <laughs> seemed to caused some kind of reaction, but did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing on other possessed sims to see how it will react. Okay, so let's find another one. Wait, she's infected again. Well, let's just do, um, I forgot this guy's name. Pause. I can't click on them when they're moving. Why is his head still moving? That was creepy. Test experimental vaccine. The vaccine seemed to cause... <laughs> Whoa. Uh -huh. Seemed to cause some kind of reaction, but did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing. Okay, one more. Come on, we know you're out there. Who's this guy? Look him with his chops. Is that Ted? Ted! Let's get him. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh. Eureka! The vaccine seems to be isolating the infection. Head back to the secret lab to create the infection vaccine on the chemical analyzer. Alright, but first... Ooh, who's this blonde military lady? You wanna marry me? Be my friend? Hello. I see you have blonde hair. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Yes, I like that very much. See, I just, uh, create amazing vaccines, you know. No big deal. Yeah. What? I am not bullshitting you. Oh, bye. She's thinking about rockets. All right, so now we got to make more vaccinations. <laughs> Let's head back. If you want to know about the best food in the city, the vendors at the Spice Festival. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, we got to take a detour and go to the Spice Festival because he can actually harvest a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables and herbs there. Plant them in his own garden. All right, harvest everything. And yeah, maybe we'll try the uh, hot curry contest. <laughs> The spicy curry challenge. Yeah, I go around a public with no shirt on. That's fine. Now he'll have lots of things to cook with. Instead of just eating fish and cake. <laughs> Get herbs, tomatoes, yes. A cow plant. Basil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Blue blackberries. Awesome. Okay, let's do the spicy curry challenge. Diego's getting old. Uh-oh. Might have another ghost friend soon. <laughs> it looks like Gloss. Oh, he failed. Mwah. So another thing you can do at the spice challenge, I mean the spice festival, is if you eat every one of these, and I think you have to eat a full serving. I don't think sample food works. Well, let's try it. Let's sample food. But anyway, if you eat a full serving, you will learn the recipe. And then he'll know how to cook them. Let's just gorge on everything. Eat, eat, eat. Lawson learned how to make curry. Let's just go home and go to the bathroom and go to bed. Why is he flirty? I don't know. Vines again. And he's lonely. Let's give someone a call. Let's, uh... Yeah, what is Erwin up to these days? He was supposed to be the guy running the shop. Angie. Let's chat with Angie. I think she'd be a good wife. Angie, remember me from high school? No. Well, it's me. Can I interest you in my hand? And a marriage. On to Maglav. Shunke Bwapso. Sharif. Low hand. Make lots of babies. Fula. Huh? Time for Betty Buys. And then tomorrow we are going to save the town. All right. So that seems like a good place to stop. He got a bunch of money from inheritance. So he got enough money to buy the hazmat suit. Combine it with the spore filter, was able to go into the secret laboratory and make some experimental vaccines, tested them out, found a formula that worked, got the ingredients to make some more, and then he found a bunch of stuff for gardening from the Spice Festival, learned some new recipes. So I think next time around what we're going to do, maybe we'll get up, plant his garden, you know, make sure he's got all of his ingredients for cooking for the future. And then we're going to go create those real vaccines. And then we can vaccinate people, and then we can defeat the mother plant and save Strangerville. So next time around, he's finally going to do it. He spent his whole life working up to this moment. <laughs> so anyway, thank you everyone who stuck around and who, who stopped by. Please like and subscribe and share, and I will see you next time.